Hello, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks bringing to you another video tutorial on how to manage your website. First of all, if you have not received a username and a password from us to access the administrative section of your site, please get in contact with us and we will get that information over to you right away. In this video tutorial, it's all about the picture gallery and how to manage and update the pictures and just manage the picture gallery. We've already logged into a customer's website here. They have several options down the left side. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see the option for gallery. Now, in this case, we have not done anything with this customer's site just to show this video tutorial. Now, usually we will automatically create one album and then that would allow the customers to go in and create categories or galleries within that album. We also would automatically link an album to a page, so that's one less step that you would have to do. But we're going to go ahead and show you how to manage all of this at this point. So let's hover over gallery as we have already, and there's several options in here. The first thing that we need to do is to create an album. An album allows you to have multiple galleries assigned to it. So it's kind of a hierarchy. And then of course inside each gallery you can have a lot of pictures or a lot of graphics. So first of all I'm going to click on manage albums. And as you can see there are no albums in here. So up here you have add new album. We're going to go ahead and create one. And we're just going to put in main and then we hit the add button. Alright, so that is in there. Now, up here we now have the ability to choose main in this drop-down list. And then if we do not want this album anymore, we can click on delete. Let's go to no album selected. And this would be kind of like how it would be if you just click on manage albums. Let's click on main and then that will bring up the settings for the main album and we can hit edit or delete. With the edit there's not a whole lot of things that you can change in here. You can just change the album name, you can put a description, you could also put in a preview image. Now of course we don't have any galleries created or images uploaded so there is no preview image available. Next, page to link to. This is where you probably should select what page you will have this album linked to. In this customer's case, it's going to be their gallery page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on gallery and then hit OK. All right, so that's basically how to set up a, an album and how to manage it. Next thing, we want to actually create some categories. So let's click on the gallery. And then we have these options here for manage gallery, add galleries, slash images, and so forth. So let's click on add gallery, slash images and it says create new gallery so that is going to be the default since we don't have anything in here I'm going to just put in a gallery one and then we can hit add files um, in this case I'll just upload a Facebook icon and then we hit start upload alright so there we go so we have just created a gallery and it has one picture in it if we wanted to continue to upload more, then it'd be the same thing. We would just choose the gallery that we want to add the items into, hit Add Files, and then we can go through and select multiple pictures all at the same time as well. So that's pretty well how to add a gallery. What about managing them? So we'll click on Manage Galleries down there, and this gives you the listing of the galleries that you have on your site. Now, we only have the one so far, course we can click on it and then this gives you the information about what you can do so you can put it in description and you can put a preview image of course the only one that we have so far is that Facebook image and there's the gallery path usually none of that you will need to change and then down here you actually have all of the pictures that would be in that gallery so you can delete them uh, you can add in some content uh, there's the file name and you can put in a description, some tags over here, and then you can save the changes. So that's pretty well how to manage the galleries. Now, after you create galleries, you then need to link them to your album. So that way, when you go to your gallery page, as in this example, then it will actually show the albums. So again, under Manage Albums, 
we would then need to choose the album, so main, and then we are able to simply click and drag this over to the album. So album ID is number 11, and then we basically just selected that gallery and copied it, or clicked and dragged it over here, and then now I'm going to hit update. Now that means this gallery 1 will appear under the main album that we just created. Alright, so we're ready to go ahead and link this to a page now. So let's click on pages, and then I'm going to go to gallery. And in here I just put coming soon, but I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Now you've got a green button up here in the bar, and you can say it says attach next gen gallery to post. So I'm going to click on this, and in here it gives us the option on how we want this to be displayed. It can either do thumbnails, it can even do a slideshow, uh, an image a browser. So there's a couple different ways here that you can do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the thumbnails and then it says what would you like to display so we click on this and then it says sources galleries albums random images recent images tags so you've got an option here to really do several things on the page so if we click on albums then this changes to albums click in here and there's the main album now you can actually do multiple albums if you'd like you could also do multiple galleries if I click back in here and click on galleries then that changes to galleries and then there's only one that we made and then we can just link it in that way. So um, in general the, the best rule of thumb and the easiest way that uh, I tell the customers to do is to make sure you just add your galleries to the one album and then you never even would need to go on to your gallery page and update it since it would already be under the album then on the web page all of your galleries that are attached to that album would automatically get displayed as you add new galleries or you add pictures. So I'm going to click on albums. That's the main one. Customize the display settings. Uh, again, I chose thumbnails. You could also do a slideshow, browser, single picture, uh, the templates. I always usually do the compact one, but you also can use the extended. It's just a different way that they look on the page. So feel free to play around with those. Uh, thumbnail settings, override yes or no. If you want the thumbnails, which are the small versions of the pictures on that page to be larger, you can click yes. The default dimensions are 120 pixels wide by 90 pixels tall, but then you can change this out to however you'd like. Then once we're done, we're going to hit save. And you see that it automatically just kind of put a random picture from the gallery in there. Finally, we would just come down here and hit update, and then that would update the page. So in essence, that's really how you would add a picture gallery uh, and manage it on your website. If you've got any other questions or anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at BS and Tech Networks. We'd be happy to help however we can. And this, again, this video tutorial covered how to manage and take care of your picture galleries. This is Brian with BS and Tech. Thanks for watching.